Hello there, it's me, Sorry here again, and today I'm here with a quick scrap haul video. I got myself some stuff from Scrap Brookit. Some of these are old, but still I'm thinking that they might be working just fine. This is a, an, an on-the-edge die from Sizzix and Tim Holtz, Alterations, and this one is called Bows of Holly. And this is a thick die, and you can die cut cork and paper and even fabric with that, with that one. I got myself some tape. I haven't tried these out yet. I just want to give it a go, I must say. I have been looking at this stamp set from Creative Creative Expressions for quite some time now. It's Lisa Horton that has um, designed that one. And it's called Winter Woodland. And I was especially keen on getting that deer with that little bit of texture there. So there are a couple of few here and there. And hopefully I'll be able to make some scene stamping with this. I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to make it as pretty as other people do. But I just want to give it a go. And just recently I really got it. I got the idea of actually combining the regular dies from Spellbinders. And then combining it with a sort of a fanciful, beautiful die set. And these are called Adorning Labels and these match with the dies 25. I do have the 25 ones since before and I'm just thinking that it would be really nice to actually make it work like this. Just look at those beautiful intricate details. I'm sure it will be a little bit difficult to get all of these bits out but I have to just twist and turn the die in the machine itself. And then I couldn't resist myself or resist getting even more of the shapes from Spellbinders. This is called A2 Modern Stationery and I really do like the wonkiness of these. Let's see if I can just get those there. And then this is something that I have been looking at for quite some time now. This one is called Bell Belly Band 2 and you can see it there. That's the thing that it's going to cut and it has got four different sizes as I, if I can count correctly. One, two, three, four, five sizes. And I'm hoping that the biggest one is going to be as big as the package itself. So it's going to be rather a big card. And I'm thinking that one could actually put on the vertical. And uh, then I've got myself some dies from Creative Expressions. Sue Wilson is the designer for these. And I'm just hoping that I'll be able to wake, make these work somehow. It's from the festive collection, Poinsettia Editions. And you can see that it's going to cut out both the sort of base shape as well as a beautiful on top plate piece. And perhaps you can cut that, some of these out of vellum or something just to give it some extra pop. Here is something else from Creative Expressions. I am in love with the shape of this bauble or this Christmas ornament. And it's called Sentimental Bauble. And you get two different sizes, both the decorative piece, but also the piece that is going to cut out the shape itself. And in my book, I'm just thinking that I would be able to use the the shaper die in order to just get a, a hole into a paper. And then I can make it into a shaker card eventually. Here is something that I couldn't resist. Creative Expressions, Christmas Cottage Scenes. It's a set of two dies. And you get a sort of a nice scene to it. And you get a little bit of extra trim down here. So you can do, do a bit of stamping down here if you want to. Or just put this somehow in a shaker card. And then I fell in love with this one as well. It's the same company, Creative Expressions. And this one is from the Portuguese collection. Porto, it's called. And just look at those beautiful details. And then I have been looking at this one, and I thought that I, did, I already had this one, but it, I didn't. It was the other one I had from Amy Design, Wintertide. And this one is called, let's see if I can find a name for it. I'm not sure I will be able to, be able to do that. But you see, there is there are some more dies. I do have this one, and I believe I have that one as well. Or is this one? Yeah, that's the one. So I, am having, I do have a uh, sort of a similar die from another company then. It could be... Precious Marie Acre or something. And then I did look at this for quite some time. It's, it's a set of two sort of uh, hill borders. And you're supposed to cut these apart. So you're going to get two hills with trees and everything. And you can use this as it is. It's from Lawn Fawn. And it's called Stitched Tree Borders. Or you could just combine it 
into a sort of a pop-up card. And this one is called, let's see, Stitched Hillside Pop-Ups from Lawn Fawn. This one is a little bit longer than the other. Or is it? Yes, it is. But I'm sure I'll be able to just trim it off a little bit here and there. And then I got myself some printable vellum paper, but I do believe that this one is only for inkjet printers, so my laser printer is a no-no for that one. Here is heat-resistant acetate, so if you want to do some embossed stamping on this, this one is the one to go for. These two are from Crafter's Companion. And as it says here, it's ideal for stamping and using for embossing or glittering. Perfect for card and box apertures. And then when you're talking about cards and perhaps even bigger cards, I do have a big sort of an upright folded Z fold card, which I do like. I spent almost a complete day just completing this one. As you can see, it's rather a big card and I haven't got this slit into the holder. So that's why I'm keeping this in my hand because I wanted to show you that I've got myself some envelopes to go with it. I did get myself some envelopes that are seven by seven inches and i even went for the eight by eight because i was thinking that perhaps i do need to go as big as eight by eight if i want to send this one to somebody so as you can see it's going to fit perfectly and these are from craft uk limited and they come i think it's 50 30 in a pack i see there 30 in a pack these also come with paper card bases if you want to but i just wanted to use the envelopes this time so scrapbrucket is the place to go if you want to have a look see at these things they might have run out but i'm sure that if you're just going to make give them and send an email to them or something they they might even be able to get them back in in stock Okay, I'm going to sign off right now and hopefully I'll be back before Christmas. But if not, I'm hoping and wishing you a really Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope to see you on the other side of this year. Bye bye for now.